This year's theme, Show Me Opportunity, Discover Success, helps us to remember that this organization is packed with opportunities that will lead us to success and to serve others. Our state officers who give reflections in this session understand the importance of service, service to our chapter, community, state, and our world. I'm pleased to call upon my fellow officers, Morgan Walkup, Samantha Mari, Kelsey Elbow, and Jarrett Holden for our session reflections. In ancient Greece, there's a statue that was well known throughout the country. It was a, of a young man who had long, beautiful flowing hair in the front, but he was bald in the back. Now, many people say that this statue represented opportunities. At the beginning, your opportunities are completely endless, and you think that you have all the time in the world to choose which opportunities you want to pursue. But as time goes on, if you do not take advantage of those opportunities, you lose it, like the statue lost his hair. Now through FFA, I have had so many incredible opportunities to serve. And one of my favorite FFA memories was whenever I attended the Washington Leadership Conference the summer after my sophomore year of high school. Now I remember that early, early Monday morning where myself and three other members of my chapter got on an airplane and flew to DC. And I was so scared because this was the furthest I had ever been away from my family for the longest time. So I was so scared that I wasn't gonna make any friends and I wasn't gonna have a good time. But as I found out throughout that week, it really reflected the last line of the FFA motto, living to serve. Because that week, we each created a plan on how we would be able to go back to our communities and serve other people. And I remember one of the last days at WLC, we all piled in to the giant ballroom that they had reserved, and we were able to package meals to send to Guatemala. They really taught me the true meaning of service, and they proved to me that anyone can serve someone else. Now, as my time went on in the FFA, I held those memories so dear to me, and I made so many friends, friends from California to North Carolina. And I am so proud to say that so many of those friends that I made back when we were living, learning how to live to serve are serving today. Our group leader, Casey, she is currently serving the Idaho FFA Association on the state level. One of my friends in North Carolina, Rachel, is serving at her college on the student government board. And here in Missouri, my friend Gina has inspired her younger sister to serve at the area level as an area officer. FFA members, you have so many opportunities to serve. What will you do for someone else? A wise man once said, you have never lived a day in your life until you have done something for someone who can never repay you. However, an even wiser man taught me how to live out that quote. That man is my papa. He is someone who is constantly putting others before himself, is a man of good faith, participates in a variety of community service activities through our church, and has served as a role model for me growing up. Now, when I was little and still to this day, I spent a lot of time with my grandpa, so I have a lot of different memories with him, like carrying the cross on Good Friday with him through town. However, the one that I can remember the most is delivering fish meals with him to the shut-ins of our parish during Lent. Now, as a little kindergarten girl, this is something I did simply because my grandpa was in charge and he was my ride home. However, as I got older, 
helping with this activity became more of a choice and something that I wanted to do. I went from not knowing the people we delivered to, to building relationships and bonds that I would have never foreseen. That small act of kindness I did as a little girl transformed and fueled my passion for service. FFA members, there are countless opportunities for you to serve your communities, whether that's helping an elderly individual carry out their groceries or participating in your local FFA chapters, adopt a highway or adopt a family, or even helping at a blood drive or a food pantry. Know that no matter what form of community service activity you are participating in, you are making a difference. FFA members, ask yourselves, are you living to make an impact in others' lives through community service, or are you living for yourself? Think hard about this question, because when we understand the answer to it, we can better understand our purpose and why we were put on this earth to do something for someone who can never repay us. Each and every one of you out in this audience was given many different talents. However, you were all given one same gift. That gift is the gift to serve others. FFA members, use your gift. I am an American airman. I am a warrior. I have answered my nation's call. My freshman year, I knew that I wanted to serve my country as an American airman. I cannot explain how I suddenly understood that my life's purpose was to serve alongside some of the bravest men and women I know in the world's most elite military. However, I can't explain why we serve. America's military members, families, and supporters understand that without sacrifice, sometimes the ultimate sacrifice, we could not benefit from our constitutional freedoms. I am an American airman. My mission is to fly, fight, and win. I am faithful to a proud heritage a tradition of honor, and a legacy of valor. I joined the FFA to carry on tradition because I was inspired by my older sister, Carrie, and because I truly believe in the future of American agriculture. FFA instilled within me intangible skills that I will use every day as an officer in the United States Air Force. Leadership, teamwork, time management, professionalism, communication, the willingness to serve. FFA members have the ability to be successful in any endeavor. Country music star Trace Atkins, American all-star Bo Jackson, and the 39th president of the United States, Jimmy Carter, are all former FFA members. I am an American airman. FFA members, what will you do? I believe in the future of agriculture. I believe because FFA members and agriculturalists everywhere wake up each day to feed us, clothe us, and make our world a better place. We help each other. We help each other to grow and develop. Service is important. Because when we serve one another, we are able to be shaped and molded into the people that we will become. President Reagan once said, we can't help everyone, but everyone can help someone. FFA members, if we live our lives with this mentality, then we can achieve incredible things. There is no limit to what we can do or what we can achieve through service. By working together, we create 
a purpose, something to strive for. And with that, we can do anything. It isn't about who gets the credit or what we can do for ourselves. It's about what we can do for others. It's about serving with a purpose and working together as a team to help each other out. Part of the FFA motto is living to serve. It's up to us to lead a life dedicated to achieving this nation's hopes and dreams. To serve and make the future better and a little brighter. Because without service, we would never accomplish anything. I know that the future is bright because it is right here in front of me. So I challenge each and every one of you to go and serve with a purpose.